bag top, chrome pipes, low lights, out of sight. Long way, so thin, say it again, so in. Make that money, throw it in. Booty bouncing, gone come on, head. Rose horse, Lamborghini, Blue Medina, always beaming. Rag top, chrome pipes, low lights, out of sight. Long way, so thin, say it again, so in. Make that money, throw it in. Booty bouncing, gone head. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Glory and I create lifestyle videos um, around pharmacy school, adulting and moving on my own for the first time. I know there's a few of you that are new here, so hi, I hope you like it here and I hope you stay. Um, but today's video, as you've probably already seen on the title, is a productive day in the life of a pharmacy school student. Um, so as you've already seen, I um, I woke up, I worked out, I made some breakfast. Um, the plan for today is you guys are just going to follow me and, and get like a real raw like look into what it is to be a pharmacy student. Pharmacy student and we're also going to be productive because I have two exams, one tomorrow and one on Friday. Um, so we really, really need to get down to it and get some studying done. So I'm going to eat my breakfast, um, have some prayer time with God. And then I'm going to work on my human physiology study guide because that exam is on Friday. Um, and then I'm just going to give you guys an overview of what we have planned for the day or what a day in my life is going to look like. And then after that, I have compounding lab at uh, 2 p.m. Compounding lab is basically um, a lab where we learn how to make medication. So like your capsule, your tablets, your suppositories, solutions, basically everything that you see on the market um pharmacists can create that so that's what we learn how to do and like the ingredients and what makes what ingredients are better for like a specific person whether or not they're lactose intolerant or vegan or vegetarian all that fun stuff so that's what we do in compounding lab and then after that i'm going to go to the study lounge and just really study 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 and then come back home so i oh i have to stop at walmart and get some groceries but anyways i'm going to be bringing you guys along um, and to all of that, I'm going to stop talking now and I will catch up with you guys later, probably um, when I make lunch or something. Um, but yeah, see you guys later.
Hey guys, so my study area is already set up. <laughs> I like to light a candle um, just for the vibes. But I wanted to um, talk to you guys a little bit about how I prep for exams and kind of like how what my um, study routine is. So for each class, we um, the teachers always like upload a PowerPoint before a lecture so we can look over it and whatnot. When it comes to exam time and getting ready for that, I like to retype the um, information that's on a PowerPoint on like a word, uh, on Word as like bullet points, like on, on study guide format. I don't know if you guys can, if it's going to show you, but basically I like retype everything that I see on the PowerPoint just so that it's in a more cohesive form. Cause I don't like going through like hundreds of slides. I just like it into like, it's better for me to, for my brain to wrap around it if it's in like 10 pages worth of um, notes. So after I've done that, I will allocate space throughout my notes to like add pictures from the PowerPoints. Um, and then like for a first pass, I'll go through and highlight my, um, the, the guide that I made and like just kind of like read and get the information in my head. Then I will um, look at the textbook um, for the class so that like I get a better understanding of the concepts and I'll like even add notes to my guide as I go along because like a lot of the time the teachers just kind of give you like very bare minimum and it's up to you to really understand the concepts. So I find that looking at the textbooks, um, looking at the textbooks online is better for me to comprehend. Everybody learns different ways. I like to see and I like to read for it to get into my head. So I go ahead and do that and then I'll add like little notes, like scroll down. Like I have like little notes that I've added on the side that's in like pink with the red text. Um, just so everything is like cohesive and makes sense to me. And yeah, that's pretty much all that I've been doing since I started pharmacy school. I mean like the textbook part is more so this quarter, but that's what I've been doing. I just like read um, my study guides and I do like three passes of this and I'm usually good. The good thing about our exams is that it's always in multiple choice format because that's how our like board exams are gonna be. So it's not like anything where you have to like fill in the blank. Otherwise, if it was like a fill in the blank kind of thing, I would highly recommend like Quizlet. So like you, you know, can make sure that you have it from memory. But since it is multiple choice and you have the benefit of like, you know, recognition, I think just like making a study guide and making sure I read over it like three times is good enough for me. And not just reading it just to read it, but making sure that like I understand the concepts, like really like I'm like, I really test myself. I'm like, okay, if this vein was blocked, what would happen? If this capillary, like what, like whatever, you know, whatever class you're in, it's like, especially for sciences, like and when you're in higher upper level courses, it's not like first level questions. It's more so like secondary, like higher level questions where you have to critically think. It's like, if I block this part of the body or this part of the body is affected, how does everything else in the body function in relation to that? So like, that's what I try to understand when I go through my study guides. So yeah. I have one more chapter to go through um, for human physiology and then um, I'll be done with my study guide and I can just keep reviewing until Friday. So just wanted to chat with you guys a little bit about like how my what my process is and yeah, I hope that helped a little bit. If you guys want a video like that's more in depth about like my studying skills, I can do that. But um, I'm not that far into pharmacy, into pharmacy school yet to be doing anything like that. I've been getting good grades. but. I'm not an authority on like good studying skills, so anyways, talk to you guys later.
study guide and doing what I needed to do for the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a light lunch because I'm still, you know, I'm not that hungry. I had a pretty like filling breakfast. Um, oh, by the way, these are plantain chips. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with plantain chips and these are from Trader Joe's. But anyways, that noise is the air fryer. I went ahead and popped in one of these breaded chickens. Um, it's Tyson, I got them at Costco. Um, so I'm air frying that and I'm gonna use them, use it to put in my salad. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this and try it with this vegan creamy dill dressing from Trader Joe's. I don't know, I've seen it on TikTok, so hopefully it's good. And then I'm gonna add some olives in there. I forgot to buy cucumbers yesterday, so that's one thing that I need to do probably when I go to Walmart later. Um, but for now, that's just what's gonna be in my salad. So let's get into it. like a quick side note for like all my subscribers that are watching that's my this my subscribers that are Christians that are watching like um I would like especially realize like after starting grad school that like you really have to be intentional about adding God into your schedule like including him in like things that you do and I understand like we all get really busy and it's like sometimes things just get like we just don't get to like read the Bible as much as we want to but I've realized that like you like if you want to you will you know like you'll find those little pockets of time so the way that i like doing that is either like through listening to um gospel music on like my drive to school or even while working out um like reading the bible in the morning or at night um and then like when you're watching when i'm eating lunch like watching a quick sermon here and there just so that like i'm like constantly feeding my mind with like the things of god and like that's what's like allowing me to like keep pushing to have peace in my mind to have hope in my mind because honestly like other than that like this world is just so hopeless so that was just like a little quick quick like thing that i wanted to add i understand that not everybody watching my channel is christian but um just something that i wanted to add to help others that maybe might be struggling in this season to kind of like add god in your daily routine like um it's really so simple and yeah god just wants to talk to us and wants us to acknowledge him so all right, I'm gonna eat my lunch and catch up with you guys later. Hey guys, so it is 1.10 p.m. and I'm about to head to school for my compounding lab, which starts at two. But I wanted to quick show you guys my outfit of the day, which is pretty simple. Um, I could have just quickly shown it in the mirror in the living room, but the lighting is off. So yeah, just some black slacks, bodysuit, which is from Shein. This is not Skims. I've had a lot of people ask me if this is Skims at school and it's not Skims, so it's way too expensive. And yeah, just put my hair up in a claw clip. And I will be putting my white coat over this because we need to wear a coat um, in lab. But yeah, I will see you guys in lab. I will be vlogging that so you guys will get to see a little bit of what we do.
guys, I'm filming on my phone right now. Um, so sorry if it's a little bit shaky, but I just got out of lab an hour early, which is great. It's usually a three hour lab, but um, I just made sure to work really quickly. So now that I have an hour, extra hour, I'm going to go grocery shopping, like grab a couple things from Walmart just because it's closest to my house. And after that, I'm gonna go home, uh, eat some dinner, and then go back to school to study for my exam tomorrow. Um, so yeah, that's the plan so far. It's been a great day, lots of productivity, um, and I didn't feel rushed. I woke up at a decent time, got my workout in, so we're having a good day. All right, I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so I came home and changed and had some dinner. So I'm about to go back to school to study um, for like three or four hours and then come back home. I have my little squishy pillow here because the chairs in the study lounge are awful and uh, my back hurts when I sit down for that long without like support. So I guess this is what happens when you turn 25. Um, anyways, yeah, nothing really fancy about the outfit um but yeah i'll show you guys a little bit more of the study lounge when i get there so Think it's 
hard How we always wait another day How we watch things the kids walk away Let's live down by the water Watch it come 